There's a place in your heart Hi guys, this is Teacher Mel and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to learn about the continuation of properties of integers. In the previous videos, we discussed about property of 1. So today we're going to learn about the second property of integer, which is the property of 0. In the property of zero, when an integer is added to zero, the sum is equal to that integer. When zero is added to an integer, the sum is also equal to that integer. For example, if you have five plus zero, this is equal to zero plus 5 okay which is equal to 5 and negative 5 plus 0 is equal to 0 plus negative 5 which is equal to zero when an integer is multiplied by zero the product is equal to zero and when zero is multiplied to an integer the product is also equal to zero for example if you have five times zero that is equal to zero times five and it's equal to zero and that is also the same as negative five times zero is equal to zero times negative five and that is equal to zero when zero is divided by any integer except zero the quotient is equal to zero. For example, we have zero, zero divided by five, that is equal to zero. And zero divided by negative five, so the answer is also equal to zero. So in general, uh, if a is any integer, then a plus 0 is equal to 0 plus a, which is equal to a. Another one is in multiplication, if a times 0 is equal to a or 0 times a, which is equal to 0. And lastly, 0 divided by a is equal to 0 where a is not equal to 0 if the product of any two integers is 0 then at least one of them must be 0 okay let's have an example so for example if you have um, negative 7 times 3 plus zero so the first thing we have to do is we have to simplify this first negative 7 times 3 is negative 21 but, and then add zero so negative 21 plus zero is equal to negative 21 and this is the answer For the second example, if you have, let's say, negative 4 times 6 
divided by negative 11 divided by 11 times 0 so we have to multiply this one first we have to multiply the R uh, we have to simplify this one first and then this one too so what is negative 4 times 6 negative 4 times 6 is equal to negative 24 divided by negative 11 divided by 11 is negative 1 and then times 0 and negative 24 divided by ne negative 1 is positive 24 then multiply by 0 so the answer is 0 okay for the third example if you have 4 times negative 10 plus 0 so first we have to simplify this one first what is 4 times negative 10 and 4 times negative 10 is negative 40 okay, plus 0 so the answer is negative 40 and for the third and last example so if you have 4 divided by negative 4 over negative 9 times negative 1 in bracket multiply by 0 so first we have to simplify this one and then this one so what is 4 divided by negative 4 so 4 divided by negative 4 is negative 1 over negative 9 times negative 1 the answer is positive 9 and then multiply by 0 and then the whole thing negative 1 over 9 the whole thing multiplied by 0 the answer is equal to 0 right so that's all for today hope you learned from this lesson and stand by for my next video if you are not yet subscribed to my channel please click the subscribe button below and don't forget to click the bell also so that you will get notified the next time i uploaded my next video and if you like to share my video i really really appreciated that one okay so thanks so much and bye for now